Hey folks, it's uh, 6 18 a.m. Saturday, August 27th, 2016. This man's going on a holiday today, Herky. He's going to go down to the to the spa to get his uh, nails clipped and he's going to get uh, he's sleeping right now that's why I'm so quiet he's also going to get uh, uh, a sh regular shampoo kills fleas and uh, softens the skin and then another one that um, goes a little deeper into the skin and helps clean uh, leave something to kill the flea eggs and stuff the older an animal gets um, the more he gets attacked by fleas, the skin softer, the the blood's thinner. Like I said, when I got Herky, he had heart problems. My my uh, deceased sister, uh, the younger one, the one I got along with, the one that was nice to me, um, she had a real hard life, and she did everything she could to save as many animals as possible. Her name was Judy. Really cool. Anyway, um, then while he's gone, I'm going to flea bomb the house. And then Monday to the doctor for his checkup and new heartworm medication and other stuff. Flea, a new flea medication that works. Anyway, um, You all know I love Herky, but that's not why I'm here. Um, another focal point of a uh, era out in, uh, oh, excuse me, um, out in New Zealand. Um, uh, his name is Raj. You'll be seeing him soon. Uh, he brought something to my attention, and I was getting hammered. I need to deal with it right away, and I'm. Like, okay. Bye bye, mosquito. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> mosquitoes, fleas, ticks. What are they here for other than to be, make your life worse? Animals, everything. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, He brought something to my attention that Simon Parks just put out a video. Now, Simon Parks is really cool. You all know that. I've told you he's awesome. Love the guy. Um, four months from now, in a month and a half, he's going to be really getting stronger. Four months from now, he'll be a lot stronger. Um, he's what he's being given, what he's seeing in his head what's you know it's like an implant he's not lying to you he's telling you what he's what's in his head um, uh, he has people talking with him too that um, uh, just putting some bad stuff in there anyway this thing about uh, Germany with what they said they're doing and everything um, the thing, what's happening with that, first off, there's never going to be a World War Three. okay? It's not going to be allowed. Um, this thing with the um, the headquarters for, for the Anunnaki, problematic ones, what I've kind of laughingly called the Anunnaki's. Uh, Anunnaki are cool as a race, very cool. The uh, ones here really suck on the, on the Earth. But um, the powerhouse is here in the U.S. So uh, they're spread out around the world, but this is like a central point over here. Uh, as I understand, the German minister or somebody, somebody over there had just said they better conserve water and, you know, there's stuff going on. Well, there, there's stuff being said over there and stuff going on. 
but it's a proper and it is a propaganda campaign like Simon said it's just a little different than what he's seeing um, what he's been shown in his head this is not him making a mistake okay this is what's being put in his head his willpower his fortitude is going to start getting stronger and stronger and stronger uh, this is being done for a reason uh, from the other side and you know stuff over here too that's not being controlled just let loose um, and remember there's still problems on the other side stuff that can run bodies no third war world war is going to be allowed to happen period it's not going to happen um, the uh, <coughs> that's funny What's going on um, is something of a, a terror campaign. Uh, as I've told you before, I, well, first off, let me go back a step. Uh, soon as uh, I heard about this, I went to the Simon Parks uh, website to read, read, read the urgent video, the urgent message. And uh, I think it's really cool Simon put that out so quick. He's doing it, folks. He's a strong seer. Um, he's got a ton of love in his heart, man. The guy's awesome. Um, but he has had stuff, you know, crammed into his head pretty hard. And the other side never should have allowed it to happen. But anyway, uh, what's really going on is that the, uh, the, the, when I went to go look at it, I have to go at major heads. I feel stuff all over the place. It's just, I had, the human brain can't, can only handle so much. So I went to Germany. And I looked at the main dude in charge, and he's talking with the other folks over here. Some people call it the cabal. Uh, these are the handlers, okay? For the, uh, these are the folks that the Anunnaki talk to. Uh, they tell them what to do. The problematic Anunnaki here. Um, they tell them what to do. A lot of people call them the cabal. <coughs> Whatever, you know. I call them Anunnaki's cabal. Cabal's a... Uh, probably a nicer term or something but there's stuff that connected with the the word cabal that's stuff I it's just like what anyway uh, uh, there are I say them all sitting there talking and the guy th that controls uh, um, West Germany is kind of laughing about the, the whole situation he's smiling and the idea is to start getting people a little more freaked out Germany's not going to be under attack, but they need to start getting the herd, which is all of us, the physical bodies having lives, <coughs> having daily lives, about getting us um, all riled up. Uh, as you all know, there still is a quarantine in this solar system. Those blue spheres were here, uh, mostly by the grace of the antids, um, and they've been used to... Uh, do a lot of good, wonderful stuff, helping us out in many ways. The uh, antids are incredibly benevolent people, but they're also in, in incredibly intelligent and powerful. So uh, the uh, the Drak have that real hard, you know, barrier here. They've softened things up a little bit, let more stuff go in and out. But don't think it's not controlled. It is. You think Israel is strong at their airports? You have no idea what the drac are like. Okay? Um, nothing goes through that they don't want to go through. Go through their barrier that they put up in our solar system. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, anyway. There's also, they're finally figuring out, they know for a fact that there's drac ships that are cloaked and they can't see them. And then they know there's nothing they can do about it. Um, the chemtrails picked up again uh, a few days, a, a week ago. I don't know. Um, like I said, I saw that coming. Uh, as soon as they went, uh, as soon as the Drac uh, started hiding their ships, um, well, went invisible, whatever, camouflage. Um, but a while ago, um, and again, I don't know how long ago it was, I talked about uh, a ship being shot at. I do believe Berjou, Gosler, saw that. Um, I can't remember. 
but anyway, uh, uh, out in this one ship was being stupid, and then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, here comes a beam and attacks the ship. It did some damage, but it didn't kill everyone in it, or nothing, or anything like that. It was dismantling, but it very vigorously. <laughs> so then they knew, okay, something's going on. The word got out through strange beams of energy that have attack, are attacking us, and it's coming from nowhere. <laughs> so anyway, so now the Anunnaki here, they're running Earth. It's solar system, actually. But anyway, um, well, it was solar system. It, they've been getting knocked down ever since Saturn got taken out. The headquarters in Saturn got taken out, of, I don't know, a year or so ago. Just um, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, once that was done, then uh, they were limited more to the Earth. They are stuck in a bad situation, the way they look at it. And looking at it pretty good. Um, they're screwed. So, they, the chemtrails they put up and everything else, um, uh, that stuff that they do personally, that they're kind of in control of. You know, they, they can say on or off. They turn them off for a week or two. Uh, not con almost completely around the world, okay? So, uh, not completely, but it was cut over 90%, just over 90% of all the chemtrailing on this planet it was stopped for a couple of weeks, a week to between one, two weeks, closer to two weeks. And I guess, anyway, uh, so now the idea is to get the human bodies all freaked out. Get the herd running around like they're crazy, okay, and cause some chaos. That's the whole idea. Go to Germany, London, uh, major cities in the U.S. would be next. U.S. is slow to move on stuff like that. We have this independent attitude. Not that other people don't, but we're really serious about it. Um, that's why the uh, a lot of governments want to have a, um, uh, a, a like a civilian police force. So they can go door to door in and out of the doors. Uh, there's more of a problem doing that in this country than there is most because there's so many uh, Americans that are armed. I don't have any guns. I got something better, but the, um, uh, I used to until I woke up strong, realized I didn't need it. <clears throat> so anyway, World War Three is not going to happen. Um, this thing in Germany is being done through the uh, Anunnaki here on the planet trying to cause chaos. They're trying to cause enough commotion on the planet where they can try to hide some of the stuff that they're doing. They also want the masses to be all upset and freaked out. Who's really freaked out is the Anunnaki here on this planet. They're screwed. They know it. They're desperate to do something. They will not be able to make World War III. It ain't going to be allowed. The other side will not allow that to happen. There's stuff coming, and it'll be serious. No World War III. It's going to be Gaia. It's going to be the planet being shook and then shaking loose all the crap that's running it in the, fit, in the third dimension. So don't worry about World War III, it's not going to happen, period. And what's really going on behind the scenes is, uh, and I keep getting the German Chancellor. Yeah, he's got some mud, he's tar, dirt on his uh, feet. He's doing something he knows is wrong. And uh, he's also afraid not to. So, that's what's going on. It's a play being made by the Anunnaki here, or what some people want to call the Cabal, whatever. It's the Anunnaki, the problematic ones. So don't worry about this stuff. Folks, love you. Have a good one.